Thanks for coming. Morning or afternoon. Uh, Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Drisco, and uh, Secretary Jones, and distinguished guests. Welcome to Great Lawrence Technical School. It is our honor to host today's Senator Kenneth J. Donnelly Workforce Success Grant Awards event. We are very grateful to be one of today's recipients of the Workforce Development Grant. It will allow us to continue workforce training in careers that are in high demand and offer good wages for underemployed and unemployed workers in the Merrimack Valley. As we are all aware, skilled labor brings industry to the area and strengthens our economy. But most importantly, it improves our citizens' quality of life, and for that, we are most grateful to the governor and her team. Before closing, though, I would quickly like to highlight some of Greater Lawrence Technical School's commitment to growing and continuing vocational education of all its citizens as a three-shift school. In 2010, GLTS educated approximately 1,200 students in our day program. In September 2023, we will be educating 1,810 students. In 2010, we had no after-dark students Today, we have six programs and 125 students from our five high schools. Thank you. In 2010, we had no workforce development programs. In the last two years, we have been awarded $2 million in order to deliver programs. And at this time, we plan to deliver and have been awarded $3 million in programming for the next two years. None of these initiatives could happen without your support, Governor, and the support of your team. On behalf of the recipients today, I want to say an overwhelming thank you. So at this time, I would like to introduce the Governor of, of the Commonwealth, Maura Healy. Well, thank you so much, Superintendent Lavoy. It is great to be back here. I know the Lieutenant Governor and I were here just a few months ago um, during, uh, during uh, I guess it would be the, the first shift. It's awesome to be here during the, the third shift. We're down for, for all shifts. Greater Lawrence Technical School um, does such an amazing job and we have many proud alums from this great institution, some who are in the room today, uh, to the teachers, instructors, the staff, Principal, thank you all for, for what you give day in and day out. And thank you uh, especially to the, to the students. It was great to just have a couple minutes to be able to chat with you as I made my, my way in here this morning. Um, it's an honor for the Lieutenant Governor and I to be joined um, by our fantastic Congresswoman, Lori Trahan. We are so grateful to her for the work that she does across the district and really across the state to hustle hard, bring back federal dollars for vocational programs, for workforce, uh, and for education uh, generally. And we're just really, really grateful to her for her work. We actually were just uh, down the way at uh, Raytheon, actually. And one of the things they talked about is the need, the real need, for this pipeline of workforce and talent. And so to all of you who are out there, um, particularly those of you who are in this program this summer, you made the right call. You know, people, employers are desperate for talented workers right now. And the programming that you're receiving here today uh, through this program and through Greater Lawrence Technical School will give you just an incredible opportunity at a career, a great paying job, and will bring a lot of fulfillment. I'm also delighted to be joined by our Secretary of Labor and Workforce Development, Lauren Jones, um, day in and day out, she's working with partners across government, including those at the Commonwealth Corporation, to drive uh, workforce and labor around our state. And speaking of uh, folks uh, across the, the realm, we, 
you know, we do all of this through teamwork, and I am grateful to our many local uh, officials and state legislators who are here today, all of whom strand, st stand strongly in support of vocational training, workforce development opportunities for everyone. And it's an honor to be here today with Leader Frank Moran, uh, Senator uh, Pavel Payano, Representative Trom Nguyen, Representative Adrian Ramos, Representative Ryan Hamilton, and we have our Lawrence City Councilor Giovanni Rodriguez, among others who are represented here today. But hopefully that shows how cross the board the sentiment is for funding and resources for job training and workforce development. As um, Superintendent Lavoie mentioned, we're, we're really uh, honored to be here today in announcing this this new grant, it's, it's, a, it's a grant named after a person who is a real champer, champion of labor and workforce development, and that is uh, Senator uh, Kenneth J. Donnelly. And so we're here today to announce this $3.5 million investment in you, in working people uh, across the state through these workforce success grants. Because uh, what it comes down to is really getting more people access to jobs, access to great paying jobs, and getting our employers access to skilled workers. And that's what we're about trying to sync up right now, making that match. We have employers in industries right around here who are desperate for the talented workforce. And we know that we've got people who are hungry to fill those jobs and, uh, and, and make a great living. And so that's what this is about. Um, these grants are going to help us achieve those results, achieve that success both for workers and for employers as well. And it's why we have recognized workforce development as a top priority for our administration. It absolutely has to be. We've already launched Mass Talent, which is a program, a hub essentially for connecting industry and workforce with our training providers. Um, and that's going to help create new career pathways for so many. Our budget, which we hope to, to see finalized soon, includes new and expanded investments in workforce development. We've also put out a program called Mass Reconnect, and it's going to make community college free to those adults aged 25 years and older to bring them back into the workforce and set them on a great career path. We're also supporting YouthWorks, which helps pay summer jobs and career development, in particular for at-risk youth. So the bottom line here is that Massachusetts, we're lucky. We've got fantastic schools, fantastic programs, fantastic educators. We've got great folks in government who want to see this all work. We've got great employers and in industries and a real range of industries that people can choose from. And we've got a great opportunity here. And all that we want on behalf of the Lieutenant Governor and myself, all we want is for your success. We want to see, in particular, you guys thriving. We want to see you making great money. We want to see you having great career opportunities for yourselves and for your families. And through that, we're going to also further economic growth and opportunity for others around the state. So again, many thanks to Greater Lawrence Technical School for the amazing work that is done day in and day out. As I said, we had a chance to tour earlier, and it's so fantastic, the programming in this happening across so many different uh, realms. So keep up the excellent work. Proud to be here today as part of this announcement. And now I'm going to turn it over to our Secretary of Labor and Workforce Development, Lauren Jones, for a few comments. Thank you, Governor. And it's great to be in this room with so many amazing partners and people that are really standing with us side by side as we invest in workforce development. So thank you, Governor, for those remarks. Um, I appreciate also being joined by Congresswoman Trahan and so many of our local and state elected officials because, as the Governor said, it's really a, a team, a partnership that makes all of this work happen. Uh, for me, I've actually been um, as Secretary of Labor and Workforce Development for six months to the day, um, and I can attest that as much as this is my top priority, I know that I cannot lead in supporting the governor and lieutenant governor's workforce 
agenda without the collaboration and teamwork and many of those um, individuals and organizations are here in this room like Greater Lawrence Tech, um, Commonwealth Corporation and the team that stands behind so many amazing initiatives. It's awesome to see some of the students here too who are plugged into many of our different programs. We're celebrating the workforce success grants today, but we also have students here from Career Technical Initiative and so many other ways that we plug in in partnership with our Vogue schools. So it's, it's great to be here today. Um, as I mentioned, I've been now doing this job for six months, and I know coming into this role, Governor Healy and Lieutenant Governor Driscoll have emphasized how important workforce development is, and I see it as a priority, and the work that I do each and every day, whether it's recognizing the needs that our businesses, large and small, are expressing each and every day to try to fill, desperately fill the, the jobs that they see today, but also for the future. Um, thinking about the opportunity for economic mobility to really help enhance individuals and families and communities right here in this region as well as across the state. Thinking about the tools in our toolbox to really tap into strategies that we know work like the Workforce Success Grants to really scale and create more impact to address the workforce shortages that we see as well as the opportunities as well. And I think one of the biggest opportunities I see is thinking about ways to reconnect with individuals that have been left on the sideline, may have been discouraged, or not in the labor market today, are unemployed, underemployed, have barriers to employment, and programs like the program we're celebrating today provides that pathway for a meaningful career um, that will provide not only a boost for individuals, but certainly our, our economy and our workforce. Um, we are certainly committed to making Massachusetts be the commonwealth that attracts, retains, develops diverse talent, um, as I mentioned, in opening these pathways and fostering a healthy business climate for companies across all industries, and I think that's represented in today's announcement. Um, as the governor mentioned, we are thrilled to be able to announce $3.5 million through the Senator Kenneth J. Donnelly Workforce Success Grants, and we're awarding it to seven initiatives, or like I like to say partnerships, across the Commonwealth. These are partnerships because it takes engagement with employers, training partners, our regional workforce players and partners that are on the ground, really to come together to curate effective programs that we are no, that can open doors for individuals, provide that technical skill, essential skills that will provide really great opportunities in in-demand but hard to fill roles. We know that we need more jobs uh, filled in healthcare, hospitality, and the awards today that we celebrate represent occupations um, in exactly these areas. It's a teamwork that it's teamwork that really helps to make all of this happen. I think that's demonstrated by the the team that's um, in the front row here. Um, we're celebrating the workforce success grants. It's a supported certainly in partnership with our state legislature. It's been enhanced thanks to stimulus dollars through ARPA in partnership with Congresswoman Trahan and, and our delegation. And it's also recognized by the employer partners in this room, um, as well as our training providers, thinking of Greater Lawrence uh, Technical Institute, for example, teaming up with Greater Lawrence Family Health Center and Beth Israel Leahy Health, just as an example. Together, they're helping to provide 48 residents here in Massachusetts with training opportunities that is combined with job placement that will be able to help fill medical assistance, just one of the many direct care roles that we know need to be filled to support our healthcare industry today as well as in the future. Our administration really values this kind of partnership and that's why we're celebrating exactly that as we think about the pathways to career. We know that it is through this type of teamwork that the governor has emphasized for us to be able to get this done over and over again. We're gonna keep rinsing and repeating because we know that this type of program, the Workforce Success Grant, can be used not only here in this region, but we can think about all the other awardees from here in Lawrence or, or Andover to Boston to Brockton, to Holyoke, and really be able to tap into the local companies that are looking for skilled labor and being able to provide that pathway through training in great infrastructure like our technical schools. So I really want to thank everyone for helping to make this a reality, um, to working with us not only through this um, endeavor with this latest grant, but staying at the table as we think creatively in scaling more and more effective programs that we know work 
and can provide even more opportunities uh, for our rising and untapped talent that we're so thrilled to be able to support. So thank you so much for being part of this and look forward to continued work ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Secretary Jones. At this time, I have the pleasure of introducing Congresswoman Lori Trahan. Thank you, John. Well, good afternoon, everyone. It's great to be back here at the Greater Lawrence Technical School. Um, and it's great to be here alongside our champions, uh, Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, Secretary Jones, and our state delegation. Uh, I, when this school was established 60 years ago, it started churning out opportunities, uh, good paying jobs, family sustaining uh, careers for people right here in, uh, in Lawrence and the surrounding communities. We just have to ask uh, our alum and our uh, leader, Frank Moran, uh, about the education that is offered here and the, the life um, or uh, life opening uh, opportunities. You know, tens of thousands of graduates have now walked through these halls and gotten the benefit of that education. And it's so great to see so many of you here. Uh, I am a big fan of our technical schools. I've, uh, I've seen the immense value of institutions like Greater Lawrence Technical School. My husband, David, went to Greater Lowell Technical School right down the road. Uh, and if you hear him talk about it, it's not as though his parents could afford to send him to college. And quite frankly, uh, he was looking for a more accelerated path to get skills, uh, to get opportunity, uh, entrepreneurship, and, um, and frankly, a great paycheck. Uh, and he found that opportunity um, by studying CAD design, eventually becoming a contractor, and smart starting his own small business. And today's investment, thanks to Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, and Secretary Jones, will ensure that 48 individuals are going to have that same opportunity. So I, I couldn't be more thrilled to be here. Normally, I come because there is a federal role uh, that is played um, in, in an announcement like this. Uh, there are no federal funds here. This is the state making a commitment to making sure we have more career pathways uh, in our state for people in communities like Lawrence. This is a commitment by our state to make sure that we are as competitive as we can be when we attract and retrain employers to our state. And this is a commitment by our administration to make the cost of living in Massachusetts more affordable. Uh, we rely on the services that are taught here every single day in our community. And when I, when I hear Secretary Jones talk about uh, how this grant in particular is going to help our most in-demand uh, industry in terms of health care, I'm excited because we can't do enough uh, to get um, medical assistance and more people attracted and, and skilled up for that position. We're clearly facing a crisis, one that if I'm at the Greater Lawrence Family Health Center or uh, Beth Israel Leahy, they understand the immense value of partnering with institutions like this one so that they can create the workforce to tomorrow, for tomorrow. So I'm just grateful. I'm grateful to Governor Healy and her team for embracing the opportunity and for making critical investments through the Workforce Competitiveness Training Fund. And uh, it starts with investing in places like this one and in people like you. So thank you all for letting me be here today. And uh, I look forward to all that's ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Congresswoman. Thanks for being here, even though you didn't have to be here. <laughs> um, at this time, uh, I, have, uh, I would like to uh, welcome uh, up to the podium Representative Frank Moran, who is a graduate and a real friend of uh, vocational education and a close friend. And every time I go to him, he says yes. <laughs> I tell you, you got to give it up for, for you, Superintendent, because you're one of the biggest advocates for vocational schools. So when I got elected, one of my priorities was I'm going to advocate for vocational schools no matter what, because I know what it did for me, and I know what it does for the kids of Lawrence, especially kids that are looking for a good job. Not just a good job, but a good paying job. So this morning I was uh, at an event, a breakdown with the governor and her staff, Lieutenant Governor, and Secretary Jones, and, and, and one of the things that the CEO of Raytheon said, 
I mean, which resonated to me. He says, you go to college, would you get a degree, and sometimes you can't even pay your loans with that job with a degree. Then he mentioned how vocational uh, schools train kids to get a better job, but also build generational wealth as well. I mean, Laurie Trahan says, Congresswoman Trahan said that her husband built a great business through an educa to a vocational education. And today, look at you know, the Congresswoman. He built a good family. Um, myself, I mean, I, I came to Great Lawrence Technical School. I graduated in 1989. I had a co-op job through Digital Criminal Corporation, which helped me. Uh, and it helped me build what I, what I am today, right? Today, I'm, I'm, a, you know, I'm a state representative, but I also, I went from high tech industry to real estate. But because of what I learned here, the value of hard work, the technical education that I was uh, you know, provided here, was able to build a good business that I have today, which is real estate. Um, today, I'm standing here before you as a Reggie. I am the highest ranking person in college in Massachusetts House of Representatives. Think about that. And that's, and that's some of the skills that I learned here, you know, the value of work, how to, you know, how to manage your time, how to set goals for yourselves. I learned that here. Goal settings is key to success. Set up a goal, right? Develop a roadmap how to get there, and then execute it and you'll be successful in life as long as you do that. Thank you, Governor. Thank you, Lieutenant Governor. Thank you to my colleagues for, for all you do getting behind this grant. Um, and we'll continue advocating for, for more funding for vocational schools. We have a few bills, Governor, that I know we'll be talking soon, um, that it will help expand schools like this. We have too many students in the waiting list. Um, I believe we have like 2,000 here in the school. So we turned down about 1,000 students. Not every kid thrives in an academic setting, right? They can thrive in a vocational school setting, and I believe we need more seats in schools like this to make sure that we provide a good paying job for all the students. Again, thank you. Thank you to my colleagues. Thank you to everybody that supports vocational school. I really do appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Moran. Um, we turned, we didn't actually turn down a thousand students. We have many on the wait list, but there's another thousand who would like to be here that we're not able to service. But we do have a plan uh, we haven't unveiled yet where we're looking to expand where we can take in another 600 down the road, but we'll be unveiling that soon uh, opportunity. But uh, next uh, we have, uh, I'd like to introduce Representative Tran Nguyen. Good afternoon, everyone. It's so exciting to be here with you today. I am thrilled that uh, our region is really getting the attention that it deserves and really excited to welcome the governor, the lieutenant governor, uh, Secretary Jones, as well as our congresswoman. And look at this delegation that came out in support of you uh, and also our local officials. We are so proud that you are a recipient of this great grant. And we want to be here to show that we are truly committed to making this investment in you, our future. Because an investment in this school and um, other technical vocational schools throughout the state is an investment in our communities, it's an investment in our businesses, and it's an investment in our economy. And we owe that all to people like Superintendent Lavoy and others who are making this commitment to you to give you those opportunities. And as you've heard uh, from all of the speakers before me, college isn't for everyone. Uh, but college is also not something that uh, is out of range either. There are so many opportunities. Even if you, uh, once you get out of technical school, vocational schools, I know that many people, there are just so many different paths, and this is one of them, and this is a path that we want to be able to support. And the other exciting thing is you've also heard that right before this, we were just in Raytheon. It just shows the opportunities that are here, right here in the Merrimack Valley, right here in our backyards, the many opportunities that are available to you once you graduate. And we want to make sure that you know who we are because we want to be a partner with you in that path to lead you to wherever you want to be. And we want to make sure that uh, you know that um, 
we want to uh, be able to continue in this investment as time goes on. And so as uh, uh, the representative for uh, Andover, North Andover, Tuxbury, and Boxford, I get the pleasure of representing several communities here um, at the school. And I want to... Um, uh, to be able to continue to come back here to let you know that whenever you need us, we're here to give you that support, whether it's with the state or at the federal level. And, um, and we're just very excited that they have chosen this great location as the announcement for the grant program for today. And when we work together, I know that we can deliver results for our community, for the Merrimack Valley, for our Commonwealth um, overall. And so thank you so much for letting us be a part of the celebration today. Thank you, Representative Wynn. Uh, before I introduce our next uh, speaker, um, I forgot to uh, thank uh, Mayor Pena for escorting the governor down the hallway today, so thank you. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, at this time, we have one of our employers who's going to speak, uh, somebody that's been in the business world a long time, uh, has been a friend of Lawrence, Gray Lawrence Tech in many roles, and, and is now uh, working for Heffern uh, uh, Boilers uh, Corporation here in Lawrence, and he's going to speak about the benefits of uh, employers uh, having the opportunity to get uh, access to skilled labor. So, Brian. Thank you, John. Uh, welcome, Governor, uh, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll. Welcome, Secretary of Labor and Workforce Development, Jones, and Representative Trahan and the state delegation. Uh, thank you for allowing me to say a few words here today uh, in praise of public-private partnerships. What is that, though? What is a public-private partnership? It's hard to conceptualize without knowing the partners and without understanding the collective mission of the group. The partners are people or groups with different talents and resources who come together to achieve a common goal. Today, we celebrate a uniquely successful public-private partnership among academia, manufacturing, workforce development, and government. In our case, this partnership pursues two goals. The first is to help people gain jobs that offer a living wage and a career growth path. The second is to help manufacturers find, hire, and train people who possess the right set of skills to help their companies grow and prosper in this region. I've had the good fortune to work for three different sides of this partnership and to know the people leading these groups. Unfortunately, they've only allowed me three minutes, so I'm not going to name everybody, but I am going to name some people, the people that you don't really see that, are make, that make the partnership work. First, we have academia, in this case, the trainers, represented by John Lavoie, Susan Almono uh, at Greater Lawrence Technical High School, a key player in training people for manufacturing in this region. This group also includes Northern Essex Community College, Whittier Tech, Shaw Sheen, Essex Tech, Greater Lowell Tech, and several other colleges and universities and high schools in the region. Second group, the manufacturers. Today we recognize Helfrich Brothers, Helfrich Brothers Boiler Works. Uh, Vin and Connor Helfrich are back there, uh, and they represent not just Helfrich Brothers Boilers, but hundreds of other manufacturers in the region whose survival and growth depend on the programs of this partnership. Next, what I call the coordinators, Mass Hire, Merrimack Valley Workforce Board and Career Centers, along with the Northeast Advanced Manufacturing Consortium, or NAMSI. I think I see Karina Ossers in the, in the background from the, the uh, Merrimack Valley Workforce Board, who is instrumental in some of the grants that uh, have been parceled out to schools like Greater Lawrence Tech. I also want to recognize the workforce boards that are other of NAMSI's partners, uh, Salem, Lowell, and Cambridge. I wonder where Mary Saris is. <laughs> um, uh, and finally, the funders. 
Governor Healy, Lieutenant Governor Driscoll, Secretary Jones, we are grateful for your continued support of this partnership. A couple of years ago, I was the executive director of the Mass Hire Merrimack Valley Workforce Board and director of NAMSI. I worked with John and Susan to, to plan a bilingual machine training program aimed at under and un unemployed uh, Lawrence and Lawrence area adults. That program, funded by Commonwealth Corporation, was based on a curriculum forged from the NAMSI Greater Lawrence Tech Partnership that had already produced scores of trained candidates for manufacturing jobs. Part of my job was to reach out to local manufacturers like Helfrich Brothers to learn what skills they valued in their new employees. When I left Mass Hire about a year ago, I joined Helfrich Brothers as Director of Manufacturing. In that role, I've been able to confirm, just as the working theory behind this partnership would have predicted, Helfrich's future growth faces many obstacles, but the most difficult and threatening is finding skilled workers. A little history lesson. The American Industrial Revolution took off right here in Lawrence, Massachusetts, about 175 years ago. For almost half of that time, Helfrich Brothers Boilers now celebrating its 75th anniversary in rehabilitated buildings from that area has been a manufacturing fixture here in Lawrence. Vin and Connor will be proud to tell you about their plans to lead the company into the next industrial revolution right here in Lawrence. To do that, they will rely on this partnership. So how's that going? Three weeks ago, Helfrich hired its first graduate from this school's After Dark program. I'll talk to you folks out here now. Next week, three more graduates from the school's After Dark machining program will join us. And later this week, we'll interview two graduates from their adult bilingual machining training program. The company has aggressive growth plans that rely on a predictable and sustainable supply of skilled workers. We are thrilled to continue our partnership with Greater Lawrence Technical High School to provide training and jobs for local residents, no matter what language they learn first. We are eager to engage with the governor's office to help steer more funding to manufacturing training programs here at Greater Lawrence Tech and throughout the region. Thank you. Thank you, Brian, and, and that concludes our presentation this morning. I want to thank everyone for being here today. 100% uh, appreciation again to the governor and her team that makes all this possible, and we look forward to many more years of training skilled people for our community, making our communities stronger and, and, uh, and more successful, and companies roving are excited to come here. So thanks again, everyone, for being here.